I've always been a huge fan of leather cases. I just really like the aesthetic and the way they wear over time, and they just feel really premium, especially when they're slapped on an iPhone. There's just something unmatched in terms of like the feel in the hand. I won't just be covering leather cases, but there is some leather ones in this selection, but I've got a pretty wide coverage. So hopefully you'll find a case that you like, and I'll leave all the links down below as well as the timestamps in case you wanna jump back and forwards between the cases. So let's start off with this one right here in my hand, which is a Mujo leather case, official leather, it's Italian leather, and this thing is just so premium in the hand. I love the color. So it's this burgundy kind of dark berry color. I personally really like it. On the side here, you have these color matching metal buttons in the same burgundy color, and they are just really clicky. They feel really premium. The one thing I hate about leather cases is that mushy button press experience, but you definitely don't have that with this case. Something else you normally miss out on when you have a leather case is your camera might be exposed or that lip around the camera might kind of peel back over time. But on this case, you have this matching metal frame that goes right around that camera bump. So it gives you that little bit of protection when you're putting your phone down on a table. Same goes for the front. You have this slight lip going around, so it's gonna slightly protect your screen. And I also do have a screen protector and there is still a lip. Inside, you do have this Japanese microfiber material color matching again, and it is really soft, so it's gonna protect your phone from scratches when it's actually inside the case. At the bottom, you have really precise cutouts for your speaker, your microphone, as well as your USB-C port. And this case is MagSafe compatible. So I would say this is actually a nicer experience than the official Apple ones from the previous years. But yeah, compared to the new Apple synthetic leather, this is way better. And I know Apple's main reason for making that new case is it's environmentally friendly, but Mujio actually made this case environmentally friendly. So everything from the dye used in the leather and the leather itself, and even all these metal components, they're all recycled and so is the packaging. So next up is this case right here. So this is a very similar looking case, but this is by Moft and it is slightly cheaper coming in at $40 or 40 pounds. So this is a vegan leather product, so it's not gonna wear over time. It is anti-scratch and you know, overall it does feel like leather in the hand. It feels very similar to the Mujo one, but you don't have the metal frame around the camera ring right here. You do have the metal buttons. They're not color matching, they're just silver but uh, you do have a wide variety of color options available for this. Moft also makes some great accessories, so they also make a MagSafe wallet for this, which does color match and is the same material, and it also acts as a kickstand. They also make an even bigger kickstand, so if you just want a dedicated stand for your phone without the wallet functionality, then this MagSafe kickstand, it folds out and it's huge. It allows you to get your phone high up off the table, you can put it vertically, horizontally, watch videos on it, or even use it as a tripod, and it folds on down into this small compact size and just fits directly into your pocket. Moft also make an attachable strap for this case, and then you can go ahead and put it around your neck. It's quite convenient if you wanna use your phone a lot, but just keep it on you. Maybe you don't have pockets, or maybe you're a tourist and you wanna take a lot of pictures, then you can just wear it around your neck. So next up, we have Pataka. I've covered a lot of their stuff. If you don't know what they are, they're a company that primarily make cases out of aramid fiber. So it's this woven carbon-like material. They mainly make these thin snap-on cases, which are hardback, and they're kind of like a shell, so they're exposed at the top and bottom. But they also make a rubber, more tough, drop-proof case, and this one is called the Mag Easy 4. So it does have that same kind of aramid fiber, carbon fiber look on the back. It's MagSafe compatible, but it's just a little bit more rubber around the edges, and it does give you that full protection. It's pretty pricey, but it is definitely a good case. It's definitely durable, and it's gonna last you a while. But they also make these cases. So this is the Sunset and Moonrise case, Case. That's just the color, but uh, yeah, I'm really digging the pattern. They are very very thin and they are MagSafe compatible So you can use all your MagSafe accessories and um, yeah, they're just a very lightweight case again pricing in at $69 But it doesn't really give you protection for the buttons or the top and the bottom of the phone But they do make a whole range of different colors So if you're not into any of these there might be one you prefer on the website But I also have this one so this is kind of Quite unusual for my style, but I oddly like it. Something you have to remember is this isn't print. This is actually woven like this. So the colors are different materials woven together. So you do have that kind of tactile, grippy feeling on the back. 
So next up, we're taking a look at some cases from Taurus. So I really like the design of these because they have like this pop out MagSafe ring. So you can go ahead and prop up your device. You could even use it to get a better grip on your phone. And uh, yeah, just it's really cool how it just snapshot, it's low profile, but they have a few different options. So first off, we're taking a look at this. So this case here is a transparent case. It's called the O stand and it's $35.99. So it comes with that MagSafe ring, which pops out on the back. It allows you to, you know, stand your phone, portrait or landscape, like I mentioned. But other than that, it's pretty much just a really solid clear case. It has plastic see-through buttons and they're not swappable. So that's just how it comes. And uh, yeah, all the cutouts, everything is, is pretty standard. I mean, it's just like a transparent case, but I just think it's cool how it has that kind of pop out stand on the back. I think that's the main feature for this case. This one right here is definitely a little bit better because it has swappable metal buttons and it also has a rotating MagSafe ring. So it actually spins on the back, which is so cool. So you can prop it up any way you want. You can literally just twist it however you like. It's also fun to play with, it's kind of fidgety. But this is a little bit more expensive, it's $39.99. But you can really tell, I mean, the quality of just the plastic on the back, it's got this kind of frosted matte finish, which feels really nice, and it doesn't pick up a tremendous amount of fingerprints. And it also has these metal color matching buttons, which are removable, so you can pop them out and it does come with this pack with some orange and green buttons, so you can put them in and have kind of like an accented color theme going on. You could even just swap out the power button or have like green and orange. You could do different combinations, but yeah, overall it just gives you a little bit extra customization and it's just a better case for like $5 more, so I'd personally go for this one. If you want something a little bit cheaper with similar functionality, then this one right here is the P-Stand. So it doesn't have a pop-out MagSafe ring, but it does have MagSafe support, and your kickstand is at the bottom here. So that kind of folds out and then you can stand your phone up either way. Um, so I actually like this design. It's a little bit different, not as cool as the ring, but this is definitely a cool case. It's got that frosted back, but just non-removable buttons. So you can't swap them out like the other case I showed off, but it's still a great case, great drop protection. Overall, it feels nice in the hand. So now we're taking a look at the Rhino Shield Mod NX. So this is $50.99 and you can check it out on the Rhino Shield website. But basically this is a bumper case which comes in different colors and you can get a back plate which um, you can customize. So you can get different prints on it. I just have the clear one right here, but it is MagSafe compatible. And uh, something cool is you can swap out the buttons as well as the back plate. So it's a really fun customizable case. Not cheap, again, but you can pick up extra buttons for just 99 cents. They are just plastic, so they're not metal like the other cases, but they do the job. The reason I'm actually unboxing this case is because I had this in different colors, but this is the latest one I picked up, so it's just a white frame with a clear back. I think it looks really nice, really simplistic. I might pick up some accented buttons, maybe like yellow or red. I feel like they would go really well with this. At the bottom, you have some really precise cutouts with a huge space around the charging port. So if you have any like big charging cables or accessories, then it's definitely gonna work with this case, which is nice to see. But this is a thick boy, like damn, this is a thick case. Like it really does make your phone feel thicker, but it is gonna enhance the protection when you do go ahead and drop it. So, you know, if you're that type of person that drops your phone a lot, this is gonna be something you want, especially if you're looking for customization with protection, then this is gonna have you covered in all areas. This next one up is great for any photographers or videographers who shoot on their iPhone. This is a case by Freewell and it has a mounting plate above your cameras. So you can go ahead and mount filters or even lenses directly onto this case. It is a really nice case. You have this very grippy material on the back, which doesn't fingerprint very much. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some of the different lenses you can get. So I've got a couple right here. They come in these nice soft padded bags. There's one of the lenses. This is a wide angle 18 millimeter lens. So if you wanna enhance the quality of your wide angle shots, you can use the main sensor with this lens on and you're gonna get much better results. But they just go ahead and they slot into the camera module and then they twist to lock and boom, now you've got a wide angle lens on your main sensor of the iPhone. Something else really cool is Freewell actually make a grip. So it's a Bluetooth trigger. It's got a button on the top on off switch. You can just go ahead and put it on your iPhone. So it just kind of stretches into position. So I was just about to go outside and I was testing out the anamorphic lens and setting up the grip and everything. And while putting the grip on it actually 
kind of came out like this and I thought I'd broken it, but it actually folds out into a grip. So you can hold your phone like this if you want. But the best part is it actually extends into this like selfie stick almost. So you can actually rotate the phone around and kind of vlog with your wide angle lens and this case. So yeah, it's basically the ultimate vlogging case, if that makes sense. And you have your controls on the bottom here so you can start and stop recording without touching the display. So, wow, you learn something new every day because I never knew this case did this. And I've had it for a couple months now. So uh, yeah, that is pretty crazy stuff. So underneath you have some standard tripod mount screws so you can pop it onto a tripod. You also at the top have those screws in case you wanna you know, screw on any accessories, but you also have this cold shoe mount. So you can go ahead and put any of your camera accessories on top of here, like a microphone or a light, and you can just you know, go ahead and rock your iPhone as a professional digital camera. They also make some filters, so they have this one right here, which is a mist diffusion filter. It basically just softens your footage and makes it look a little bit more vintage and old school. And they have a variable ND. So if you wanna lower your shutter speed, if you wanna get more natural motion blur in bright conditions, then you can go ahead and use this. If you twist the front, it darkens and lightens your shot. So yeah, these just magnetically clip on. So they do cover all the lenses at the same time, which is great. So you don't need to just shoot with your main sensor and boom. Just clips on like that. So yeah, overall, if you wanna enhance your smartphone photography experience, if you wanna make it a little bit more professional, you can pick up this case and you can acquire some of these accessories over time. You don't have to buy them all at once. You don't need them all. You don't need the grip. You could just pick up the filter and the case. And uh, overall, you're getting uh, a professional photography experience from your smartphone. These lenses are pretty expensive. They're like $129.99 each, um, but they are really good quality. So this is an anamorphic 1.33 times lens. Basically an anamorphic lens, it captures a really wide shot and compresses it down so that the iPhone sensor can capture it. And then in post, you stretch it out again. So you get this super wide shot with letterboxing. So I'll put some clips on the screen of what's possible with this case, with the lens mounted on the back. So yeah, this is definitely overkill, but I personally think it's kind of cool. I don't know if I would recommend everyone picks one of these up, but you know, if you're into that, then yeah, it is what it is. So now it's time for today's video sponsor, which is Declaw. So this right here is a body kit. It's a prototype, as you can see, it's completely 3D printed, but it's an idea for a case from this company called Declaw. So the final product will be made out of forged carbon or carbon fiber. There's two different options. But basically, this is a body kit which goes on your iPhone and it just protects against the corners for drops. So it leaves the sides exposed. So when you're holding it, you can actually feel the buttons on your phone. You can actually feel the materials of the phone. So it doesn't completely cover it like a case would, but it gives you similar drop protection but it's not really geared towards drop protection. It's mainly just for the aesthetic as well as for the magnetic ring feature. So let me talk about that. So this right here is a prototype ring made out of plastic with a magnet in the end. It kind of reminds me of like the Green Lantern or something. I feel like a superhero with this. But um, basically they will make this out of solid metal. They have a gold color, silver as well as purple. And the beauty of the ring is it snaps on the back of your phone case and the magnet is so strong. Like. Like I can feel it from here pulling towards, which is insane. But yeah, it snaps onto your phone like this and then you're basically not able to drop your phone. So you could be holding some drinks in your hand and the phone is just gonna stick to the back of the ring and then when you need it, you just go ahead and pull it off. So it is a very strong magnet. It's just a prototype, it's a cool idea. You can even pick up the prototype if you want on their website to try it out. When the ring is on the back of the phone, it also acts as kind of like a kickstand so you can go ahead and prop your phone up while you're watching videos. But overall, it's a very interesting idea, not a final product yet, but I would definitely like to see it come out and then review it in its final form. This is what the body kit will roughly look like on the Pixel. So again, pretty interesting design, but thank you so much for sponsoring this segment of the video. Let me know what you think of this case and the design. Would you pick it up or would you not? 
let me know in the comment section below. I'm actually really curious. But yeah, that is pretty much my favorite smartphone cases for the iPhone in 2024. But if I did have to pick one, it would have to be this Mujo leather case. I really love this thing. Like there's just something so elegant and beautiful about it, but I would go second with the case from Moft for sure. So let me know your favorite case from this list down below. And remember to subscribe while you're down there and smash the like button. I will see you guys soon in the next one. Peace.